Businesses in two more counties can start reopening. Kitsap and Clallam counties are getting the green light to enter phase two. That means 26 counties have now met the requirements set by the governor to take the next steps in reopening. And tonight, some of our state's largest counties are pushing the governor to let them move forward, too. And this evening, Pierce County said it is ready to go to phase two and is calling an emergency meeting. King 5's Tony Black joins us live tonight after talking with the county executive about the plan. So, Tony, what did he say? He says they are ready and that they are hopeful ahead of tomorrow's meeting with the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department. Society to restart. Pierce County Executive Bruce Dammeyer says his office felt comfortable going public Thursday with their belief they are ready to start to reopen. I, I mean, there will always be some concern. Right? We've got to both be safe and allow our society to kind of restart. reopen. Just two days ago, Dammeyer said the state's current benchmarks would be unrealistic for Pierce County to try to get to phase two by June 1st. Bruce says after talking with Governor Inslee, they're hopeful. We talked to him about opening construction and he did open construction. We talked to him about not on reopening, not treating the state as a monolith, but starting to look at it on regions. And he did do that. So I think he's listening. I, I'm hoping he's listening now and we're ready to make the case for Pierce County. He says residents in the county have been responsible with the restrictions and the lower number of cases reflect that. When you look at Pierce County, particularly compared to King or Snohomish County, our infection rates have been half of what theirs have been on a kind of per 100,000 level. The county has worked to get extra protective equipment to not only help the first responders should another spike in cases happen, but for businesses that could reopen. They want to be safe themselves. They want their families to be safe. They want their communities to be safe. And he says he trusts Pierce County residents. If we provide them the right medical guidance, the public health information, and we give them the tools, they're gonna step up and do it well. Pierce County, as of right now, is not eligible to apply for phase two. So Bruce says tomorrow's meeting will be more of a get ready moment for them if the governor adjusts his benchmarks. Here in Tacoma, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News. Well, Snohomish County is making a similar push to move to phase two. It says that it has enough personal protective equipment and testing, but still reporting too many cases of the virus every week. Today, the county's top health officer said that he is confident the county can lower transmission rates. We asked the governor about that today. Yeah, in, in regard to uh, uh, Snohomish, under the current uh, order, uh, there is not a procedure for that. But in the next few days, we will have more uh, decisions about uh, June 1 and where we go from here. And I think some of that will be responsive to some of the concerns that some of the folks in Snohomish County have. We've had good talks with their leadership as recently as last night or night before last. So I think uh, there will probably be some, uh, some pleased folks uh, to some degree. The Snohomish County Board of Health is also holding a special meeting tomorrow. As Thurston County slowly starts to reopen under phase two, the health department is now requiring people to wear masks in public. The directive says masks are now mandatory anytime people are inside a business or outdoors and within six feet of anyone with whom they don't live. We're actually relieved that Dr. Yu came through with this directive yesterday because it, it takes the pressure off of the businesses uh, so that when they require somebody in their business to wear a mask, they've got the backing of our public health department. Olympia's mayor says police will not be ticketing people who choose not to wear masks. Time now for the Fast Five on King 5. California reported 2,617 new coronavirus cases today, the largest single day increase on record for the state. More than 101,000 people have been infected with the virus in California. So far, nearly 4,000 people have died. A Nevada-based property management company is going to pay nearly $300,000 to Washington tenants that it issued eviction notices to. According to the Seattle Times, the company violated the state's moratorium on evictions. Bellevue Police, they have a warning. Watch out for scammers posing as contact tracers. Police say that they're calling people and they're asking for your personal information, including social security numbers. Contact tracers will not ask for that type of personal information. Former Governor Gary Locke has been selected as Bellevue College's interim president. 
He was one of the three finalists. The former Commerce Secretary and Ambassador to China will replace Jerry Weaver, who resigned in early March after a campus mural about Japanese-American incarceration was defaced. And troopers need some help finding the person who stole a plaque off of this historical marker near the Capitol in Olympia. It marks the location of the home of Washington's first governor, Isaac Stevens. The state patrol says it was taken sometime during the week of May 11. Still ahead, Amazon's leadership is questioned for firing employees after they spoke out about working conditions inside Amazon warehouses. Also coming up, it's a sighting that has wildlife advocates really excited, a rare wolverine. Plus, the sunshine and warm weather are coming back tomorrow, but don't get your hopes up too high for the weekend. We'll explain after the break.